Well, it's update time again. Mike Bolin with you, along with Josh Garner, who's who's sitting across the room from me, managing the equipment. So good to come to you today. You know, Josh and I made a stop by the post office box earlier, and in the process of doing that, I picked up some greetings from a few of you, some extra Christmas cards besides those that came directly to our house. Made me really think about the people that have supported us and stood with us over the years. You know, when we started in the ministry, we started in a pastoral role, for, did that for several years, and then received the call to the prophetic and the call to the itinerating work that we did for so many years, close to 30 years. And as we went forward, it went forth doing that. It was very obvious to me, and as I've read so many of the epistles of Paul and his writings, I always, always aware, was aware of the fact that I was not doing that by myself, that I wasn't going alone. Oh, sure, there were times that times that I got in a car and took off, just me. Sometimes I'd get on a plane and fly across the country or a few times to other places in the earth and in the, around the world. and Never lost my awareness that I was not alone. And it wasn't just that God was always there, because he surely was. I was busy doing his work, but I also felt the presence of some of you who are even uh, listening to this right now, uh, and I, I just thought as I was as I was looking at those cards and looking at those checks, a few uh, end of year kind of support things, others the regular monthly support, and you know even though that amount is not very much, just a few hundred dollars. Uh, generally, normally, it's a little greater at this time of year. Uh, haven't, for some reason or another, haven't been able to, uh, or God hasn't touched, I guess, quite as many people as we hoped he would, because our needs are a little greater than what we're being supported in right now. But having said that, I want to say that you're so much more important to us than you think you are. Sending a check's a blessing, and giving us uh, monetary support. Prayer support is very important to us. And saints, i, I got to tell you, with so many of you, it's your friendship. When I talk to you on the phone, when I comment on something you said on your Facebook page, uh, but probably more than any other time when I'm able to see, see you, spend time with you. The last few years have been very hard on me personally. One of the reasons is because I have not been able to to be out there with you, to be among you because that was always very important to me, and it's still very important to me, but but I want to tell you something. Uh, God sent us, but you sent us too. You sent us forth to do the work. You sent us to preach and to prophesy, to speak into your lives and the lives of others, most of which you didn't even know, but you were faithful to do it, and some of you are still faithful to do it, still standing with us today, standing with us at this hour, as we leave one year going into another with with uh, many hopes and dreams and and uh, you know struggling with some things we'll talk about in just a minute but uh, but saints uh, we would not have been able to go if there had not been so many that prayed for us so many that loved us and cared about us so many that expressed friendship and the love of God to us uh, we went to you but we also went because of you we went because you stood with us we went because you prayed for us. We went because uh, God said go, but then he raised up an army of people to go with us. And even though you weren't in most of those meetings, and even though you don't even know where those meetings were, who was in those meetings, or what was said in those meetings, nonetheless, you were there. You were there to help us. You were there to support us. And your strength, the strength you gave us through your prayers and your love, literally made it happen. Uh, I know sometimes when I'm reading after the things Paul said about his interaction with the people, I know there were times that he wondered where that support was, but uh, you've been so faithful, and I'm, and I'm so much, and Sue, I know also, so appreciates that. Uh, there's really no other way to say it than just to say thank you. Thank you for standing with us. Well, since we're calling this an update, let me update you on a few things. We we need for you to, uh, we really need for you to take a look 
a new look at the website. Uh, Josh has made some recent changes, very recent. It's almost brand new. It has a whole different look to it. Just go to MikeBolin.com and and uh, look us over, check us out, and then go to our Facebook page. You, that's where you'll find this update as well as on the website. Uh, go to the Facebook page, and if if you discover us there, uh, maybe for, maybe some of you for the very first time, you know you we need for you to go. I mean that's why we're doing this, so so we can encourage you and bless you and help you. Uh, I trust you had a wonderful Christmas season. You're having a wonderful holiday season. And that tonight and tomorrow you will have a happy new year. Uh, th that the year to come will be a very blessed year. I want to remind you that uh, if if any of you uh, I want to send, if, if you're reading, hearing this, you want to send out an end of year donation, uh, just make sure that you that you note on your check that it's for December the 30th or 31st. That will help us to, to be able to give you credit if you need it. Uh, but we do need this support. This transitional season has been very difficult on us. I'm, uh, I've been delayed on the knee surgery a little bit. Uh, I don't know exactly now when it will be. I've got a couple of doctor's appointments coming up next week, and uh, maybe we'll be able to determine... Uh, when we when we go to those, we'll be able to determine when this operation will happen. But we need the operation so we can we can get serious about about exercise and serious about losing the weight and improving the health overall. We uh, we need this surgery so we can travel and be with you again. I, I don't have expectation of of nearly as much travel as I did in the past, but God is still sending us. And there's still doors that are going to open, and we're and we're not done. We're not finished. We're not finished ministering to you. Uh, I want you to be praying also for not only for my health but for Sue's health. Uh, as you, as some of you know, she's she's fought the battle physically for years. She's been uh, saints. I got to tell you, she's lifted you up in prayer. She stood with you. Ask you to stand with her. It's been a wonderful season of being together with the family. Steve, our son, came in with a very special friend of his. Uh, we got to meet Teresa, uh, Steve's friend, spent some time with her, with Steve. I tell you, the kids are doing good. Bethany and, and uh, her children, Josh, which you know Josh because he helps us here, uh, and, and Abby. We just really appreciate the family. We appreciate our larger family, the many friends that we have. I want to pray for your year that's coming up. Thanking God for the year that you already had. I want to pray for the year that is to come. 2015, which some of you thought you'd never make it to, but listen, if, you, uh, if you're if you listening to this, there's a pretty good chance you made it to 2015. Lord, I lift up those friends of ours who stood with us and prayed with us and supported us. Lord, that 2015 would be a powerful year. Lord, we know it's a year of destiny for all of us. Lord, we know that the things that could happen this year, Lord, are, are, are going to so affect what's going to happen in the world is, and what's going to happen in us is going to so affect, Lord, all of eternity. Lord, this is going to be a very crucial uh, year in prophecy, a very crucial year in the lives of all your sons and daughters, of your children, Lord, of our children, our grandchildren, those we love. So, Lord, we ask you to help us face this year with courage, with hope, with excitement, that we might tap in, Lord, to all that you have, that we might receive your power and go forth. But, Lord, most of all, we pray that this year we'll get to know you better than we ever have. For you're the eternal God, but you're also our very best and closest friend. We love you today, Lord God. And saints, we love you, those that have listened today, those that have heard this. Keep praying for us. Keep supporting us. Uh, and and for sure, check out our website. Check out our Facebook page. Join us. Be a part of us. God bless you. Can't stop climbing the mountain. We're sick and tired of keeping silent. We are, we are, we are. We are going to come to